right, in this last tutorial on our series of how to get more real time with EDIUS, we're going to take a look at a number of things that you can do to Windows itself to uh, make it work better with EDIUS. There are a lot of things that Windows is set by default that, uh, while it may uh, be great for many of your other computer uh, system scenarios, when you're working with EDIUS, you might want to shut some of these things off because they don't help you work with EDIUS. Uh, in fact, they slow you down. They eat up a lot of resources uh, in the background uh, as you're working on your computer. And as a result, they're taking resources away from your EDIUS session. And uh, so since it's not really helping uh, you edit better, uh, as long as the computer that you're working on is primarily for EDIUS, you'll probably want to shut a lot of these off. And uh, for this tutorial, I need to give credit where credit is due to a man by the name of Anton, uh, who lives down in Australia. He is a system integrator for EDIUS, at least that's one of his jobs. I believe he is also a video producer, but uh, part of his responsibilities is to build systems for other video editors. And uh, over the years, he has learned a great deal about how to optimize your system in order to uh, make EDIUS run faster. And uh, Anton has been around, I believe, since the beginning of EDIUS. I started working with EDIUS when it was, I think, version 2 or 3. And even then, as I started working with the program, I received a lot of help from the contributions that Anton made to the user form for EDIUS. And by the way, if you have not uh, discovered the EDIUS form, I highly recommend that you join the EDIUS form. You can find it at uh, forum.grassvalley.com slash form. And uh, it's a good idea to join up, become a member of that. And once you have, you will be able to not only post questions, but also be able to search the whole form that has built up the database has probably been going now for eight or nine years and uh, you will be able to find the answer to almost anything that is stumping you on EDIUS. Just go to the forum and uh, do a search first because likely the answer has already been given many times. But if you can't find the answer to your particular problem in the search, then by all means you can post your question to this form and within an hour or two you will probably have several responses to your problem by other EDIUS power users. And indeed maybe Anton himself will have joined the conversation to help you out to uh, get over your problem. And uh, I might point out that uh, you can find the link to either the user form or Anton's tips um, over at ediustips.com, if, uh, if you just scroll down to the bottom, one of our menu settings there is resources, and just click on that, and you'll get a link to not only the Canopus form to get you started with it, but also Anton's tips and tricks listed here. And just click on that, and that'll take you to the tips and tricks by Anton, and the link that you want to click on is the video editing link. And if you're going to it from our resources page, you will go directly to that link and it's already showing up here. And you'll see a whole list of little text tutorials that Anton has posted over the years that uh, may help you through some of your difficulties. And one of the great uh, tutorials that he has there is how to tweak Windows to make it uh, perform better uh, when you're working with EDIUS. And uh, the link that you'll want to click there it will depend a little bit on what uh, Windows system you're operating on. If you are already on Windows 8.1, you'll want to click the one here. If you're still working with um, Windows 7, you'll want to scroll down and look for an appropriate link for that. And since most of you are probably still on Windows 7, uh, let's click on that. And here you will discover, oh, I think there's probably 12 little tips here that will help you optimize your system to make it run better with EDIUS. And uh, so if you are the type of person that works better with a text-based tutorial, you could probably just end our video tutorial here and follow along with his tips uh, in this text-based tutorial to help you tweak Windows. For those of you who do prefer to have a video-based uh, training, we'll walk you through these step-by-step -step here 
uh, for the remainder of our tutorial. Okay, first step here is to go to uh, Services and stop Windows Defender. And the way to go to Services is to go down to your little window button here and find the item called Computer. Right click on that and then just left click on Manage and then right click again on Services and Applications and also on Services. And there you'll get a list of items there. And the item that you're looking for is something called Windows Defender. We can open this up a little bit so we can see. Look for Windows Defender and make sure that that is disabled as he shows here or at least the startup type is manual. Okay, our next tip is to uh, set your power options to high performance. And the way you can do that is again, go down to your Windows symbol, go to the control panel and uh, look for an option called power options. Click on that. And I already have mine set to high performance, but this is what you want. And uh, you can even tweak that. Uh, just click on change plan settings and make sure that at least when you're plugged in, that uh, everything is set to never. And then uh, click on change advanced power settings again, and then click on hard disk and turn off hard disk. And you may want to uh, leave it on for the, uh, if you're just using battery, but uh, at least for the plugin, we wanna change this to zero. All right, tip number three, we want to shut off file uh, or drive indexing services on all of the drives that you are using as you work with EDIUS. And if you're on a PC or a desktop system, you may have four or five drives that you are working with on a typical edit session. And for any of those drives that you are using, we want to make sure that this indexing is turned off. Now, this will really slow down your searches when you try and search for a file using Windows. However, having this turned off will actually uh, allow you to work with EDIUS a lot faster. And how we do that is we uh, just open up our Windows Explorer here and right click on any of the drives that you want to make sure that this is shut off. Let's check out this drive that I have currently attached to my laptop and see if we have this service turned off for this drive. Just right click on the drive itself, go down to properties and Oh dear, as it looks, as it turns out, I don't have it shut off for this drive. Uh, each time you buy a new USB drive that you may be working with for EDIUS, you'll have to do this in order to shut this off. But this gives us an uh, opportunity to show you how this works. Let's just make sure that this is unchecked. Hit apply. It will ask you to confirm that. And it may even pop up and say, you'll need administrator permission or privileges to in order to do this in most cases you will if you've logged on uh, as a user that has administrative purposes so all you usually need to do is just hit continue and it'll go through a little routine here that will oh i don't know apparently de-index everything that has already been indexed and it may take a little while for that to happen so you might just have to wait around a little bit for each hard drive that you do this for. So every hard drive that you are using with EDIUS, you should make sure that this is unchecked. All right, tip number four. Disable search indexing options on all drives that are used by EDIUS. And how we do that is, again, go down to our little Windows Start button and type in the word indexing and then click on indexing options click on modify and according to Anton's suggestions here we want all of these unticked looks like I'm going to be optimizing my laptop as we go through this tutorial all right, disable system restore on all drives that are used by EDIUS. So remember when it says that, you need to do that to all of the drives that you're using for EDIUS, not just the ones that are currently attached. So remember as you uh, buy a new USB drive or attach another USB drive that you haven't been using, you might wanna check and make sure that this is shut off. And let's go down to our start button again, right click on computer left click on properties 
We'll go to system protection. And what we want to do is make sure that all the drives currently are on the off position. And if you find something that is on, you can just go to configure and uh, click on turn off system protection, hit apply, and then hit okay. All right, tip number six, disable automatically restart when a BSOD occurs, okay? System properties, how we get to system properties, well, you can just do a Windows E on your keyboard to bring up any Windows Explorer window and then click on system properties and uh, then click on advanced system settings. And then as this pops up, make sure your tab is on advanced and uh, you should have here syst uh, startup and recovery settings and what we want to do is uncheck automatically restart. Okay, tip number seven. We want to set the user account control slider all the way down to the bottom. All right, to do that, uh, we need to open up control panel. Again, go down to your Windows start button there, go to control panel, look for an item at the very top there called action center and what we want to do is change user account control settings and what we want to do is slide this right down to the very bottom all right tip number eight turn off automatic defragmentation schedules on all drives all right let's open up our control panel uh, you can get to that uh, again in several different ways either at the start program or you can just hit the windows and e key at the same time and go up here to open control panel and uh, you might notice here um, according to anton's instructions here to go to control panel and then to system and security and depending on how your control panel opens up you might not find system and security uh, and that's just the case uh, when you open up where you've got the small uh, icons showing up. If you change it over here to uh, category, then you'll find the system and security that he's talking about there. Uh, click on that. And then down here under administrative tools, you'll see that one of your options is to defragment your hard drive. And you can schedule that to happen, you know, once a week if you like but Anton recommends that we just have all of those shut off. And uh, then the idea is for all of those drives that you have working with EDIUS, we want to uh, shut those off. So just unclick run on a schedule, hit OK, and now it will show up as Anton recommends their scheduled defragmentation is turned off. All right, uh, tip number nine, we want to turn off some Windows features. And uh, we can do that again by going to our control panel, open up control panel. And uh, let's go back to programs and look for an item called turn windows features on and off. And here we'll get a list of windows features. Let's drag this down that are currently turned on. And we might be able to optimize windows by turning some of these off. And uh, Anton, here has a list of suggestions that he says are no problem to turn off for number one we don't need games checked let's open up media features here and we can turn off Windows DVD maker Windows Media Center and we'll leave Windows Media Player on and under print documents and services let's open that up and looks like we can shut off the fax and scan service and looks like almost everything else should be unchecked as well here we'll leave windows search on we can take off uh, xp services and xps viewer okay that might take a minute to make those changes and uh, since we're not quite finished here, we'll hit restart later. All right, looks like just one more here under performance options. And we can get to that again by clicking on our computer again and uh, choosing properties, advanced system settings, 
and under performance options. Let's click on that and let us follow Anton's guidance here. We'll uh, select the custom button at the top there and then we can shut off a lot of these animations that happen in Windows 7 to make you know Windows Explorer and Internet Explorer come on nice and fade on and fade off you know all that beautiful stuff takes resources and so by shutting these off it will uh, free up more resources for EDIUS. No, we'll leave that one on. Click the rest off. And looks like that's it. Hit apply. Oh, there is one more here. Anton recommends that you daily empty your temp button. And to make that just a little bit easier, he recommends uh, setting it up so that this temp folder uh, is an icon on your desktop so that you can very easily at the end of every edit session or at the end of every day just click on this icon on your desktop to uh, empty the temp folder. Now how you do that is first of all uh, get to this temp folder and we can do that uh, by uh, opening up Windows Explorer and uh, r uh, opening up our C drive go down to users and pick the uh, user that you are working with when you uh, edit with EDIUS and uh, what we're looking for is app data click on that and yes local and we're looking for temp here we are alright and uh, then when you've reached that folder then just right click on it and uh, click on create shortcut or send to desktop maybe would be better and now let's check let's see if that's ended up yeah sure enough it's ended up on our desktop and now at the end of every edit session or at the end of the day when you're headed off to bed just uh, open up that temp shortcut and you may want to use your discretion here about uh, what you uh, empty or delete uh, at the end of every day. You may want to just empty the EDIUS temp. If there are other things that you want to uh, maintain uh, the temp folder for, you could do that. But uh, on the other hand, you're not going to lose anything by uh, just selecting all and deleting that. I shouldn't say you won't lose anything. Um, you may find uh, that as you then run some of the programs that you've been running, it may take a little longer the next time you run it because it's not able to access those temp files like it was when you were running the program last. But it will clean out uh, that temp folder, which apparently is slowing things down for you. All right, well, I believe that that does it for our series on how to get more real time with EDIUS. And it looks like uh, I hadn't actually done a lot of these on my laptop, so I'm expecting even greater performance next time I run EDIUS on my laptop. But for now, I believe that does it for how to get more real-time with EDIUS Part 3.